please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, Raptors? Today is Tuesday, January 16th. I hope you guys had a wonderful long weekend. It is the start of a brand new week, so let's start this week off strong, Raptors. Now on to the daily news. Jam must dress code by regard. Today we are going to be talking about dress code. We are talking to Miss Bella. Why does Jam must have a dress code? Oh, we have a dress code because back a few years ago, parents and the community voted to have the dress code and we've altered it a few times, but we have not gotten rid of it. So teachers and many parents enjoy the dress code as do many students. Why do you think it's important? I think it's important because it makes um, getting dressed in the morning a lot easier. It helps middle school students um, make good decisions and it allows us to have um, dress down days. Do you plan on changing anything about the dress code in the future? Um, I have rolled around a few changes now and then, but I'm not planning on making any major changes. Some changes that we've had in the past are button. Facts, in most public school districts, administrators have the power to set a school uniform policy or other dress code. This power comes from a 1969 U.S. Supreme Court case. Have a good day, Raptors! Exploring weather patterns and climate. Today, we're going to be explaining the concept of weather and what weather is, including patterns and climate. Then we're going to describe what meteorologists do, use, and what they are. Then we'll explain the concept of the weather. In simple terms, weather is the state of atmospheric conditions around us. Climate. Climate refers to the average weather conditions in a particular place over a long period of time. Let's say 30 years or, or more. Weather prediction. Meteorologists use a combination of historical data and current observations and a computer models to predict the weather. They analyze patterns, trends, and changes in atmospheric conditions to make forecasts. Meteorologists. Meteorologists are scientists who study the weather and make predictions about what the weather will be like. They use tools and instruments to collect data on temperature, humidity, and speed, and other factors that affect the weather. They analyze this and predict Understanding. It helps us understand why different weather conditions occur and how they impact our daily lives. It allows us to make informed decisions about what to wear and how to plan outdoor activities and how to stay safe during extreme weather events. Thank you. We have a school fundraiser coming up at Chipotle on Saturday, January 20th, anytime between 4 and 8 p.m. All you have to do is go to the Chipotle location on 528, order your favorite foods, and 33% of the proceeds will go towards our AVID program. Show the flyer at checkout, or you can use the code on the screen for online orders. We will be having more details come out soon, so stay tuned. Admin updates with Kaylana. Today we are here with Miss Johnson. Field trip behavior expectations. Hello, James Monroe students. I'm Miss Johnson and I'm here to talk to you guys about eligibility requirements. First of all, for the field trip, the Call of the Wild field trip that's happening on Fe February the 6th. So listen carefully to this. Starting December the 1st, these requirements will be looked at in order to see if you are eligible to attend the field trip on February 6th. Those behavioral expectations are the following. Students may not have more than one behavior incident, for example, bullying or harassing other students, 
bus disruptions, a third dress code violation that results in an office referral in Synergy after December 1st. Number two, students may not have any referrals that result in a suspension either in school or out of school after December 1st. Students who receive behavioral consequences of any kind, whether or not they result in a suspension after December 1st, may have their right to attend this field trip revoked at the discretion of administration. Thank you students and please be on your best behavior so you can attend this fun field trip and enjoy yourselves. Bye Raptors. An attitude of gratitude. Hey James and Ro, we just wanted to say thank you. 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 We appreciate you. Have a great day, Raptors.